Hi there, welcome to the University of Utah and UEN PD TV's first ever episode. My name is Michael, and this is Jared Fawson. We used to uh, put together something called Faculty Lounge that was available online every Thursday. We're going to replace that this year in 2016 with some very special episodes and some information for you about what UEN offers. And in our first episode, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about Utah Futures. We're going to meet with Jamie Gardner. And this isn't going to be like Faculty Lounge where it's live. These are going to be pre-recorded and so you can watch them at your own leisure. We'll even put them right on our own YouTube channel right here. Here, help me hold this up. Uh, I'm put the banner there. <laughs> so uh, we'd like to welcome Jamie Gardner here, who's a new trainer with us at UEN, and she specializes in Utah Futures. So Jamie, just give us a rundown basics of what is utahfutures.org all about. Well, utahfutures.org is Utah's go-to one-stop shop for college and career planning. Um, we were given money through a grant from the state of Utah to do some upgrades to the site. It's been around for a while, but we've made a lot of improvements and we're hoping to get teachers and counselors and students back on board using Utah Futures more. <laughs> so Jamie, is Utah Futures expensive? Is it something that we as teachers or students have to pay for? No, Utah Futures is 100% free and it's the only website where you can do college and career planning in one, in one site. There are lots of sites out there where you can search occupations or you can research schools, but there's not a site where you can do all of the above. So we're kind of unique um, in that we can do you know, a lot of different things to help students prepare for college and career and it's free. So right. one of the things that I want to do with my students to help them prepare for school is to get a scholarship. Is there anything on the site about that? There is. We um, have a partnership with Step Up Utah and um, UEA, the Utah Higher Education Association, and we have been able to gather lots of scholarships that are local to the state of Utah, and we also bring in scholarships from a national database. And the great thing about our scholarship search is that you're not signing up for an, an additional account where they're going to be sending you a lot of spam or a lot of information that you don't like. You just get to search for what you're interested in. Is it a hard site to use? No, um, I, I personally use Utah Futures with about 400 students a year in the classroom. The navigation structure is set up really easy for students to use and we're always making improvements and, and trying to um, make changes to make it easier for students and teachers to use. So Jamie, this sounds like a great website. It's pretty easy to use. Can you take us to the computer lab and show us how to get started? Yeah, I'd love to show you. Let's go. Let's go. All right. For today's screencast, we are going to discuss the basic navigation features of Utah Futures. Um, starting up here in the top corner, you can create an account. So to create an account, you click on the Create Account button, and then it's going to ask you for some of your basic um, information. Make sure when you're setting up accounts with students that you have them select their graduation year. This will allow them to connect to their um, high school or junior high and will be important um, for some of the features contained within Utah Futures. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log into my account so that I can show you some of the features within an account. So when you have a Utah Futures account, it will allow you to save any of the assessments or research information that you find. So under the exploration section up here at the top, this is where you're going to take assessments and try out different activities that will help you match your interests to your occupations. In the workspace, this is where your information that you have saved um, will show up. So under Manage My Occupations, I'll see all of the occupations that I have saved while doing research in Utah Futures. It works the same for your schools and for any scholarships that you have also saved. So those are just a few of the basic features of having a Utah Futures account. Um, if we look at the navigation bar up here at the top, the first thing I want to show you is under Careers. So by clicking on careers, you can do an occupation search. When you search for an occupation using a keyword, I'm going to search for accountant. It's going to not only show you 
um, what you searched for, accountant and auditor, but it's also going to show you other related occupations. By clicking on the occupation, you'll see more information about the career, including what the job outlook is, what courses a student might want to take in high school, and also some helpful videos. To save an occupation, you'll click on this button over here on the side. This is generally a gray button until you have saved the occupation, and then it turns into a, a yellow button. Under assessments, you can assess, um, take an assessment to connect your interest to an occupation. A popular assessment is the interest profiler. We'll ask you a series of questions about things that you might like or dislike. To show you the results from this, I'm going to go to my account, I'm going to click on the icon at the top and click on interest profiler that I already have taken. The results returned from an interest profiler are based on the Holland codes. The Holland code with the highest score is where you should most likely find an occupation that you're interested in. By clicking on that Holland code, again you'll see a list of occupations. And by clicking on an occupation, you'll see more information about, about that occupation. Again, here's the gray button in the corner. By clicking on that, we're going to save that to our timeline. Under activities, we have a variety of different activities that you can do with students, um, setting goals, searching for scholarships, and you can also go out to the Department of Workforce Services website and look for a current job opening. Under the College tab, two of the most popular features are the School Search and the Programs of Study Search. We're going to look first at the School Search. By clicking on School Search, you can search for a college or university. It works similar to the occupation search. It will give you some basic information about the university and by clicking on it you'll be able to see additional information. Programs of study that they offer, different costs, and admissions information. Also under colleges is the program of study search. You can type in a keyword or you can search from one of the options that is listed in an alphabetical list. So if we click on secondary education and training, it will give us more information about where we might study to become a teacher within the state of Utah and also colleges throughout the United States. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I've got a question. As a teacher, what are some tools on the Utah Futures website that I could be using? That's a great question. So as, uh, what we have done is we have developed a new website called the Utah Futures OnRamp. If you go to, um, if you click on training and resources, <clears throat> you will find quick start guides, how to guides, nine ideas to get started using Utah Futures in your classroom. And also we're developing lesson plans all the time to help teachers implement Utah Futures into their classroom. That's awesome. What about for students? Are there other activities that students can do on their own? Yeah, Utah Futures has a partnership with the Learning Express Library. If you click on popular links again and go to Learning Express Library, the Learning Express Library allows students to prep for ACT, AP tests, and practice some of their basic technical skills, and also, if they're doing any kind of um, industry testing, they can access practice exams for industry testing as well. So if you click on all centers at the top of the Learning Express Library and go to College Preparation Center, this is where students can take a free practice ACT or SAT exam, and they can also practice for any upcoming AP exams. So Learning Express Library is a really great resource when students are wanting to do their very best on some of the college entrance exams. All right, Jamie, thank you so much for explaining the Utah Futures to us. I can see how that will be a very valuable tool to Utah teachers and students. Thanks, Danny. I'm excited that I got to be part of uh, UEN PD TV's very first episode. And join us next week 
where we'll introduce Utah's online library with a quick name change from Pioneer. 